Zero current switching is achieved by use of a resonant converter and special switching control. The switching of an active switch, say N channel MOSFET, is controlled in such a manner that while turning off, the current flowing to the MOSFET goes to zero. After that only, the drain to source voltage across it will start increasing. Also, while turning on, we slow down the rate of change of drain current so that there will be very minimum overlap between current and voltage. This type of soft switching reduces the switching loss in the power electronic converter. So let's see how it works. To understand a zero current switching, we'll take an example of a resonant buck converter circuit. There are different types of resonant buck converters, but we'll specifically look into L-type resonant buck converter, in which LC resonating circuit is used. The PWM strategy of a converter is designed in a such a way that the resonant circuit goes into resonance. Every resonant converter is consists of three blocks, switching network, resonant circuit, and finally the rectifier or filter circuit. In the case of resonant buck converter, this is the switching network, this is the resonant circuit, and this is the rectifier slash filter circuit. We already have a basic understanding of a simple buck converter, right? If you clearly remember the working of buck converter, you can skip to the timestamp. But still, we can brush up some basics. The buck converter provides a step down voltage at the output. This means when the MOSFET Q1 is turned on, it is charging the buck inductor and also provides the constant output current while diode D1 is off. When Q1 is off, D1 turns on. And the buck inductor discharges through the load providing constant current at the output. This operation keeps on repeating until we get the constant output power. We'll consider this as the steady state of the converter. For simplicity, we can replace this output LC circuit and load with a constant current source. Because no matter what, a constant current will flow through the output of this converter. To understand the working of a zero current switching resonant buck converter, we need to divide its operation into four different modes. We'll ignore all the boring math part of differentiations and integration, and we'll focus on the actual circuit working as well as its voltage and current graph for easy understanding. Considering the steady state, before mode 1 starts, the buck inductor is already charged in the previous cycle, so the output current is provided by it. The voltage across MOSFET would be equal to V in and diode D1 is on. As D1 is on, the resonant capacitor is shorted, so let's ignore it for a moment. We'll see this simplified circuit. Now mode 1 starts by providing a gate pulse to the MOSFET Q1 to turn it on. And the voltage across MOSFET Q1 starts to decrease. As soon as it turns on, the current starts flowing to the MOSFET and resonating inductor LR. At the output side, the buck inductor was providing the current this whole time. And it is discharging at the same time. But we need a constant current at the output side, so the current flowing to the diode D1 is decreasing due to insufficient energy in the output inductor and the MOSFET drain current is increasing as it is connected to the input supply. So the output current will be the sum of rising drain current and decreasing diode current. As soon as this drain current reaches the level of output current at time T1, the diode turns off. Now second mode starts. As the diode D1 is off, the resonant capacitor comes into picture. In this mode, the LC resonant tank resonates. Current flowing through the MOSFET is not constant. It is changing with respect to time. So the capacitor tries to charge up to the input. So the overall drain current of the MOSFET will increase gradually. And assuming all the math behind it is worked out, it will look like this in a sinusoidal manner due to resonant tank. 
the voltage across capacitor starts increasing as it is charging at the same rate. At a certain time, say Ta, the current flowing to the MOSFET reaches to peak value and the current decreases after that, providing current to the output. During time Tb, it reaches the value equal to the output current and voltage across the resonant capacitor reaches to the peak value and it is fully charged. After that, the resonant inductor and capacitor provide current to the output. During this mode, that is the resonant stage, the direction of the current flowing to the resonant inductor changes and the resonant capacitor charges and starts discharging. Finally, at time T2, the MOSFET is turned off by removing the gate voltage and resonant inductor current reaches to zero because it doesn't have enough energy and capacitor voltage keeps on decreasing, which means this resonant capacitor is providing the output current from Tb to T2 all by himself to keep the output current constant. Well, the resonant tank's inductor and capacitor has to be designed in such a way that when the MOSFET turns off, the resonant inductor should be discharged fully. Now in mode 3, the MOSFET is turned off. The resonant capacitor discharges providing sufficient current at the output and the voltage across MOSFET's drain to source starts increasing from T2 to T3 due to parasitic components present inside the MOSFET. After that, the charged buck inductor provides the required output current by discharging which turns on the diode D1 and VDS of the MOSFET reaches to the input voltage. Well, the current flowing to the MOSFET is zero and capacitor voltage is also zero. Until time T4, the buck inductor discharges fully and mode 1 starts again. This same cycle repeats one after another and provides the required output power. If you look closely, the zero current switching is achieved with the help of precise control of the MOSFET and resonance circuit at second mode after the resonance. When the MOSFET current completely reaches to zero, after that, drain voltage starts increasing and the drain current of the MOSFET increases slowly after turning on, which is called the pseudo soft switching. This is how a zero current switching works in a basic resonant buck converter. This working varies with different topologies. In the next video, we'll see how a zero voltage switching works. Till then, stay tuned. I have added all the references related to these circuits in the description. If you have any query, you can ask me in the comment section or email me. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And finally, thank you so much for watching this video.